sir, kick off with, of course, I'm sure like most people, you may have been surprised with the GDP print. How does this now change your outlook? What does it tell you about uh, the real economy? Well, actually, uh, we have to understand first, where is this uh, uh, yeah, GDP growth uh, coming from? Uh, the uh, employment is not really improving. We have more underemployment uh, coming. And uh, also, when we look at the uh, GDP components, it's mostly driven by uh, consumption. So uh, the logical question is, uh, while uh, the uh, employment numbers are not exactly improving, where is uh, consumption coming from? Mm. And I think uh, the uh, uh, remittances coming from our OFW uh, uh, brothers and sisters uh, from abroad. Uh, it's really saving the day for the Philippine economy, just like mm. uh, what we have seen in the past. It's the OFW money that's driving the economy. So I don't think we can rest easy and say okay. revenge spending is now uh, taking uh, uh, taking over and uh, uh, people are going to spend uh, because they have a lot of money. No, they don't. Okay, but sir, how long will this revenge spending going is going to persist before it starts getting eaten up by inflation? Is this a one-off third quarter print for whatever reason because we saw the highest inflation in something like 14 years, diba? Um, or is this a trend that might be continuing if we still have good remittances, um, if people still have savings that, and as you mentioned, you know, excited pa rin sila to go out from COVID, how much longer is this going to be? Well, uh, I hope it lasts longer, uh, but uh, I think from the looks of it, uh, this is not exactly revenge spending. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, people are spending more for their essentials because uh, all the okay. money is coming in. Mm. Uh, are we going to expect uh, for uh, this uh, to uh, continue to be sustainable? I'm not sure it will. Okay, sir, what about uh, the statements of President Bongbong Marcos that this print is due to positive policy decisions that have been made uh, in the f first few months of his of his administration? Can you comment on certain things that may have driven this type of growth? I beg to disagree uh, with the president. Uh, I think what we are seeing is the uh, traditional uh, growth uh, being driven by uh, consumption and being sustained by OFW money. However, if uh, we look at OFW money, it's already bordering uh, $3 billion. Uh, mm. With the uh, threat of uh, global inflation, I don't think uh, that will be sustainable. Sir, but when will this hardship peak? In particular, when will inflation peak and when will people start to feel a reprieve and start to feel the benefits of the growth? I believe early next year, when things uh, settle, uh, more dollars are coming in uh, before Christmas. Uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, 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 supply coming in uh, during the period. So uh, I think uh, for the rest of the year, uh, we can expect that there will not be much uh, uh, movement in the uh, inflation uh, aspect. Uh, but uh, come next year, uh, January, I think that will be the uh, revenge of the economy that uh, we can uh, uh, expect. Uh, the the uh, foreign exchange, uh, the currency uh, movement, I think, uh, will uh, uh, show itself again. Uh, inflation will pick up. Uh, the uh, prices of oil, mm -hmm. especially uh, uh, now that the uh, uh, cold weather is setting in uh, in uh, Europe and in the U.S. Uh, there will be more demand uh, for energy and therefore the prices for uh, energy will uh, uh, peak also. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm hoping against hope that uh, this will not happen, but uh, we have to be prepared. Sir, is the government on the right track given um, a lot of exogenous factors here? I think we need to hear more about uh, what the government is doing to uh, prepare for these uh, external shocks that might be coming uh, in the near uh, future. We need to hear about uh, what will uh, uh, be done or uh, how much uh, do we have in order to uh, cushion uh, the uh, impact of uh, uh, global recession. It happens. Uh, do we have any money? Uh, for that. The 5.3 trillion uh, peso budget, I'm not sure, uh, will uh, have much for uh, 
uh, to buffer uh, the uh, global uh, recession that uh, a lot of many people are expecting to happen. 